Our next question comes to us from Corvallis, Oregon. The listener writes, Mark chapter 10, verse 17, speaks about a man who came to Jesus asking what he must do to inherit eternal life. Jesus responded to his question by saying, Take up the cross and follow me. Since Jesus had not yet been crucified, would this man know what he meant? Is there in the Old Testament a prophecy that would make this clear to this man? Well, may I say that the clearest place that we have of the crucifixion of Christ is a prophecy in the 22nd Psalm, 53rd of Isaiah, another picture of the crucifixion. But I do not believe that this man uh, got his information, or at least his question, or the information on which he asked his question from that source at all. I'm going to turn and read Mark 10, 17. And then I'd like to call your attention to something. It says, And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? That young man had been watching the Lord Jesus and now he was leaving and he hadn't made up his mind, but that when the Lord Jesus started leaving this man, I tell you, a young man came right out in the open with the important question. Now, you should have read on. You will understand your question only as you read on. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. In other words, if you see that I'm good, Now, what does that mean? Well, there's only one that's good, and that's God. It must be that Jesus is God. Thou knowest the commandments. And then gives him the commandments. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. And just think of that. There are not many people today. There are not many Christians today could make that statement. All these have I kept from my youth. Here's one that couldn't make that kind of a statement. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, and whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Now, may I say to you, it's very opposite what the cross is. This young man was a rich young man. We're told that in a parable in other Gospels. He's a rich young man. And the Lord Jesus said, give up that and take up the cross. The cross of what? The cross he was bearing at the time of poverty. And now notice this. And he said, and follow me. Now, if he followed Jesus, where would it lead him? It would lead him to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ because he was on the way to the cross right then. That's the reason he came to this world. He said to the young man, follow me, you find out. And so I think that you need to put together all of it. When you separate those two things and attempt to then put them together and question you've left out a great deal of the incident, you see. And I trust that that will clarify it probably a little bit better in your thinking. 